Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So we will continue the Mario series with um, Super Mario Bros. 2, the USA version that is. Uh, so yeah, and the gameplay is very, very different from the first game. If, um, if you didn't have the internet, of course, because, of course, you will see that Mario here is picking up items. Which you could not do in the original game. Indeed, what would happen if you jump on any of the enemies here um, is that um, you would not defeat them. Compared to, say, what would happen in the, in the first Super Mario Brothers game, um, what would happen is that, um, of course, he would be able to stomp on an enemy. Not so here. You actually have to use the vegetables to. Um, 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 to pretty much defeat the enemies. In addition, there are some enemies that were not in other Mario games. Well, that is because this game wasn't originally a Mario game, but a um, um, probably now well-known game by the name of Yume Kojo Doki Doki Panic, or Dream Factory Doki Doki Panic, which um, apparently used some uh, characters from Fuji TV, um, which, yeah. Apparently, all the enemies in this game are owned by Nintendo, so that's why they could use, for example, the Shy Guys, who, of course, will become a staple of the Mario games going forward. Of course, you will actually see them in many of the, um, of course, 3D Mario games. I'm not sure about the 2D ones, but certainly Yoshi's Island, you'll see them. Um, although that starts its own series, shall we say. The ninjas? I'm not sure if they re return or not. The ninja-looking enemies over here in the cave. The graphics are very good for something made in 1988 anyway. It's like the, um... If, um... Uh, the original, um, Super Mario Brothers was pushing the, the NES, then this definitely does. Seriously. Um... Another thing of note, you can actually choose which characters you play as. Although, um, it's, um, it doesn't include um, when you lose lives, unlike in the SNES version of this game. I will say that now. Um, another thing of note, I just picked up a stopwatch there. That actually stops all enemies for a short period of time. It is very, very rare to pick up is the stopwatch. So yeah, and you can actually use the enemies as platforms. Again, you can normally, such as these bugs here, um, just as long as you don't jump towards them, then Mario would take damage. Um, anyway, once we get past here, we will come into our first boss. Kind of a recurring boss, namely Birdo. Yes, Birdo, uh, the character who is often in love with, um, with, uh, with Yoshi. Seriously. As a character is uh, Birdo. Anyway, with Birdo, what you have to do is throw her eggs back at her to defeat her, pretty much. And, yeah, although later Birdos will um, change their things up a bit, but this Birdo, no, it, she just shoots her eggs at you, that's all. If there's anything annoying uh, about Birdo, it is the fact that, um, um, you can actually miss some of her attacks. At the end, when you defeat her, uh, you will get a crystal ball, which will allow you to progress through the thing. If you get any um, coins, actually, in the uh, area, in the areas where you use a potion, um, as well as getting mushrooms, which will um, increase your character's health, you can also get bonus chances, it's kind of like a slot machine, something that Nintendo would move away from. In later games, just look at the Pokemon games, for example. Um, so yeah, but you can actually earn extra lives with that. Anyway, here I have actually selected Princess Peach here, or Princess Toadstool if you prefer. Um, the princess can actually float in midair, uh, something that would later, of course, come into play in Super Mario 3D World. But um, here, I'm just going to use her to get over gaps. A floating ability isn't that bad, actually. Um, the only other character who can uh, float in this game is, of course, Luigi. 
Um, we'll get to him a little later. I will be playing as all of the characters, as um, each has their own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, because Peach can float, the problem with her is that uh, she's open to attack. And these enemies are the bane of my existence in Mario 2. Namely, the Phantos. It will always chase you once you grab one of their keys. Which is necessary to open this door over here and go into this area. Seriously. As for the uh, cherries, I'm not sure. Um, Sniffits, that's one of those enemies. Another enemy that will appear in later Mario games. Um, Sniffits themselves shoot uh, pellets at you and are a general nuisance here. As for the bombs, well, um, they behave like bombs do in many video games. Basically, if you pick one up, you'll have to throw it away, throw it as quickly as possible to blow up any uh, rocks and everything. So they function just like in the Zelda games. Seriously. Um, if anything, there are a bit of few puzzle elements actually in uh, Mario Brothers 2. Seriously. Uh, nothing too hard earlier on, of course, but it does get harder as it goes on. Um, some of the levels are, do get quite long as well, seriously. Um, also, our first appearance of a Starman in game, like before it gives you a limited period of invincibility. And unfortunately, I messed up that jump. Yeah, um, you do actually get a dash in this game, which was not the case in Doki Doki Panic. But uh, yeah, get rid of the shy guys as well. They're not the only enemies that will later appear in other Mario games that debuted in this game. Seriously. Though there are some enemies that don't. Seriously, those hog enemies that we saw earlier, they don't appear in other Mario games. Birdo does, of course. You'll see her in various games. But, yeah. I'm still missing what, what she said in the um, Super Mario Advance game, because I remember playing that on my GPA. This is as far as you go! Which is weird, this is the only time- that was the only time I think Birdo was given somewhat of a feminine voice. After that, I think uh, Kazumi Tataka started voicing her, and he, he just gave uh, Birdo a, like a honk. The brow, which I actually like, actually. <laughs> I'm actually doing pretty well, actually. <laughs> Anyway, I will uh, end this level here, and on the next episode we will actually finish World 1, so I'll see you then. Goodbye!